Hello, I'm Sister Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today on October the 1st, 2017, from Hazelwood, USA. Now, the topic of my today's devotional is very special to me because it's Hear, O Israel. Now, we know this is the Shema. We know this is the first, this is the most important commandment. It's what um, Jesus said in the New Testament. Somebody asked him which one it was. He said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. It's Deuteronomy 6 and 4 in the Old Testament and... I want to say happy birthday on September the 27th, that was last Wednesday, to my oldest grandson, Israel Jacob. He turned the big eight. And Israel. We gave him this as a life verse. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 10 and 12, Deuteronomy 15, 7 and 8, Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of a good courage. When our oldest grandson, Israel Jacob, was born eight years ago, we knew that his life verse would be Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. I remember sitting and rocking him in his nursery the day he went home from the hospital. His first thought, though, had been by the church, where we prayed over him and introduced him to the altar, the pulpit, and the pews. And then his second stop was home. As I rocked him and talked to him, telling him how I felt God would greatly use him as a missionary to his Amish relatives. See, his dad, Jake, Jacob, Jacob Swartzen Trooper, was born to an Amish family. And um, he, was, he was shunned. But you know, I really believe in my heart that God is going to greatly use my grandchildren as missionaries to their grandparents on that side of the family and their, their aunts and uncles and all the family on that side. When they get to, um, the ones that can talk to them, that do talk to them, we're just claiming. But how I felt God would bless him and use him for God's glory. Going back to my story here. Special bonding times. Now, I was in Hutchison, Kansas, and of course I came home, and then I went back to Hutchison, Kansas. I drove by myself to celebrate his first birthday. And then, that was a wonderful time, of course, but when I was coming home, my car overheated. The light came on, and of course, I was all by myself. I just kept ignoring, just kept on hoping I'd get home. Well, it started um, acting up, and... I, I know I remember praying, God, just get me to a gas station or something. And I did, when I pulled in, started pulling into that gas station right in the drive, it completely died. And people came running to help me, and I got out of there and everything. It was smoking. It's just a miracle it did not catch on fire. Who knows what could have happened? It, anything could have happened, but praise God, it didn't. But every time, every year, when we celebrate, when we remember Israel's birthday, we think about that, how. God has spared my life that day seven years ago. How merciful God is to us. Then, when Israel turned five, he and his brother, Judah, was jumping on a trampoline, and Judah almost fell off. Um, Judah's a couple years younger than him. And, and Israel saw him, that, he was, uh, that Judah was coming close to the edge, and Israel was concerned about his brother, so he went and got on the other side of him, so he wouldn't fall off. But then Israel ended up falling off. When um, Israel went to block him, Israel was the one who fell and broke his arm. His mom was talking to him later about it. You know, he was just he was just really quiet and holding his arm. They took him to the emergency room and they put a sling, you know, one of those things that hold your arm. I guess it's called a sling, on there. And his mom was talking and was telling him that she was so proud of him because he had proved how brave he was and how much of a protector he was and how. He, he saved his brother from falling off the trampoline, and she, you know, she was just really building him up and letting him know that she didn't blame him at all for what had happened, that she was really happy with him. And then the next morning, see, this was on a Saturday night, but the next morning, of course, the Sunday morning, they went to church, and his mom took him up to get prayed for, my daughter Marisa, my oldest daughter, it's his mom, and when he went up to get prayed for when Brother Nathan Carricker, the pastor there, started praying for him, Israel started speaking in other tongues. And, you know, it was just so it was so glorious. And then Israel called me that Sunday afternoon, and when, when he called, and 
um, I heard him, I thought he was going to tell me about his arm. And um, as we talked for a couple minutes. I said, did you call to tell me about your, your arm? He said, like, no, you already know about that. He said, I call it, I got the Holy Ghost. I'm like, what? Hang on a minute. Let me go get Papa. So I got Papa and we um, put him on speakerphone and let him tell us both. And boy, what a jubilation. What a happy time it is. God turned adversity, God always turns adversity into a triumph. He turns our test into testimonies. And just there's just so many more testimonies that we could share about our oldest grandson Israel. And we're talking mostly about him today because we're celebrating his, his birthday. But all my grandchildren, God has done such great things. And I do and feel and believe this, it's part of this established covenant somewhere Along my family history, I really truly believe, because see, I was raised in the Pentecostal church. My mother, she was raised in the Pentecostal church. Her parents, somewhere along the line, got into church. And they had been looking. So I believe it was my, my grandparents, and it could even been some of their parents, because, you know, there was a lot of Christians, you know, back on down the line. But and I believe my mom, and I know I do, Pray, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And now my daughter Marisa and her chil her three children have the Holy Ghost. Israel, what I'm talking about today, he's eight. Judah is seven. And um, Graceland is four and a half. And she just got the Holy Ghost. I talked about her a couple weeks ago. She got the Holy Ghost. Thing. She got baptized last Sunday night. She got the Holy Ghost the Sunday night before. And we're so excited because God keeps on doing stuff. My daughter Melanie, she has two children. They're three and one and a half. Um, Jeremiah and Raylan, they love to go to church and worship God. They love clapping their hands and singing. Every praise is to our God. All my grandchildren love that song and other songs too, of course. But they just praise the Lord and I'm so glad that this heritage goes on and on. That's the same prayer I pray. Hear, O Israel, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. This Acts 2.38 doctrine is for us today. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, a new language. God makes a new person out of you, a, a new creature in Christ Jesus. And that is the Great Commission for us to go into the whole world, spreading this beautiful gospel. That's our desire. This gospel is for you today. Today is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. Find a church in your area that preaches truth. You can find one using the church locator at upci.org, United Pentecostal Church International.org. There's a resource button, and you can click on that, type in your zip code or the city you want, that you're looking for, and it'll list all the churches within a certain radius, towns nearby, in your town or town nearby where you can go to church. You can find out more about my husband and I by visiting hazelwoodusa.weebly.com. Then Peter said that wordpress.com. So I, I thank the Lord. I thank God for this opportunity to bring this glorious gospel. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. To God be all the glory. It's not about us. It never has been, never will be. It's all about Him. Spreading the gospel, spreading the good news, testifying to you what God has done for me and for my family and what God will do for you and your family. I love you. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.